Do you know what the biggest complaint about my Mohican prediction video was? It wasn't that I got every single prediction wrong. It was that it was filmed at a baseball field. Well, some of you may not know that I'm a big field of dreams guy. And this field of runners at Ohio's Backyard Ultra is loaded with dreamers. Let's dive into a prediction video and see who I think is gonna take home the top spot. But before we do that, I just wanna set the scene for those that may have never been to the McChesney Ridge Athletic Club. This place is absolutely awesome. When runners get there, they're gonna to totally be just enamored with everything kind of going around, going on around them. They're gonna get there, they're gonna see the lake, you know, they're gonna see the property up on the hill, they're gonna see the trails kind of all throughout the property, and they're just gonna feel right at home. I'm excited to see, and because of this, it's gonna, the, the race is gonna go on for a very long time, you know. Part of it is feeling comfortable and being able to just lock in to that special environment, and that's definitely gonna be the case at Ohio's Backyard Ultra this year. I'm predicting this race to go on for a very long time, and these are the top five runners who I think are gonna go make it the furthest this year at Ohio's Backyard Ultra. All right, so kicking things off with fifth place, fifth loser, however you wanna describe it, is gonna be Mike Rowe from Columbus. Mike has only, this is his second ever Ultra, and I think this is gonna totally help him out at the race this year. Um, some people may be like, okay, why is, he, why is he in the top five? This is his second ever Ultra. I've got more experience than him, 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 him. Doesn't even matter. Mike went out to Ode to Laz Backyard Ultra in Michigan earlier this August, took home second place, aka first loser at that event, and he ran 112 miles. Absolutely crushing it out there. I think Mike has got the experience from that one event, but also he's still got the newness about it, the ultra running, and the only thing he knows right now is backyard ultras. And I think it's totally gonna bode well for him compared to people that have other ultra experiences who maybe are not used to sitting down that long at every single aid station. So I think this experience alone will help Mike out, and I'm expecting Mike to go very far this year at OBU. All right, fourth place, I've got to go into Andrew Waugh from Cincinnati. And this guy runs miles. And I mean, when I say runs miles, he runs miles. He's currently at 3,200 miles entering the event this year. And that's not even the whole year. So for those of you that don't know, Andrew was injured for the early part of this year and really didn't even get going running wise, putting on some massive miles until April. If he had the whole, you know, January through April, he'd be over 4,000 miles this year, guaranteed. And so with the base that Andrew has going into this event, I think he's gonna do just absolutely awesome. He's also got the ultra experience. He took, he went 18 hours at Tunnel Hill last year. He was, he made it 100 miles in the inaugural Ohio's Backyard Ultra. He passed me like I was standing still at the Shawnee 50 a couple years back. I mean, the guy is just absolutely super talented. He did really well at the great virtual race across town. Tennessee, which is just a multi-day, you know, just gotta do a ton and ton of miles, and he just racked up the miles from April all the way through July, and he's still doing it. So I think Andrew Wild is gonna have a super awesome day, and he knows it. He, I, think, I think he knows that he's gonna possibly be in for a very long day, or two, or three, or four. So we're excited to see Andrew absolutely crush Ohio's back at Ultra. I've got him finishing fourth overall, third place loser. All right, so for those of you that don't know, last year, three men were the final three at Ohio's back at Ultra this year. I've got it flipping the script this year, going to three women will be in the final three this year. Third place, second loser, I've got it going to Jessica Kopowitz from Athens, Ohio. And runners are gonna be super jealous when they see her aid station supplies and whatnot, because she's gonna be loaded up with stuff from Fluff Bakery, I can already see it now. And she's gonna have a really awesome day. Earlier in September, she took third place at the Tuscazor 50 miler. Way back in the day, she was on Ridge Runners Live number four. She's just one of those runners that is gonna fight and claw for every inch. She's gonna go out there, and people that know Jessica know how tough she is, and it's just gonna continue to go out there and just prove everyone wrong. Loop after loop after loop, and that's why I'm like, sitting here, and she's gonna already see this and be like, okay, well, why didn't you pick me to win? Well, I've, I've got you third here, Jessica, so I think you're gonna have an awesome day. Over 100, over 120, over 150, whatever you set your mind to, I'm pretty confident you're gonna get it done. This is a person who I think could easily win the race, so right now I've got Jessica Kopowitz finishing third Second loser at Ohio's Backyard Ultra. All right, in second place, AKA first loser, AKA also known as the assist in Backyard Ultra terms, I've got it going to Krista Petrosen from Cleveland, Ohio. And Krista ran the inaugural Ohio's Backyard Ultra last year and ran 100 miles. And ever since then, she's kind of been doing more and more to climb her way up the, uh, 
the hours and distance. Earlier this year, she ran the Hamster Endurance Run. It was a 32 hour event and she made it 135 miles there. Also, she's run the 024 race up in Kirtland, Ohio, and she made it 112 miles there. I think she's one of those people that when you look on Ultra Sign Up, you just look and see who's in the field. That's a name that instantly jumps out to you that everyone is gonna just be like, okay, that person's gonna go a very, very long time. So that's what I'm super excited to see Krista go out there and I think she's gonna get the assist at Ohio's Backyard Ultra this year. All right, and taking home the W, I'm giving it to Jennifer Russo. Yes, this is someone who I think can run 200 plus miles at an event like this, and it's really just gonna come down to, can someone actually provide the assist? for 200 miles for Jennifer. Cause I think this is gonna be a really awesome event and I hope that she can just go and go and go. Cause I know that she can. Um, Jennifer has been absolutely crushing it this year and just uh, previous years in general. She's run eight of the, uh, she's got eight 100 mile finishes on ultra sign up and they're some of the hardest 100 milers on the East Coast. Earlier this March at the Chattanooga 100 miler, she took fifth place. And then burning over 100, everyone knows, we talked to her on our judges live, chalked it up as a W there. On October 16th, she took third place at the No Business 100 miler. And she's been eyeing a 200 miler now for quite some time. I think this is gonna be a really awesome race for Jennifer. As long as she kind of keeps her cool and does everything that she needs to do, and I'm sure she's probably gotten some advice from some veterans that have done this event, and, and she's a seasoned veteran herself, so it's gonna be just a different format, but she already knows out how to grind out epic race results and do really well at them. So that's the only slight format change for her, but I mean, it's a format change for everyone and I don't think she's gonna struggle at all with this. Jennifer Russo, I've got you projected to win Ohio's Backyard Ultra and essentially catapult you to the top of Ohio's Ultra Running, Ultra Runner of the Year rankings. We'll see how everything shakes out this weekend at Ohio's Backyard Ultra. Let me know who you think I missed out on. I know there's a couple people already gonna be like, ah, oh, you know, you missed me, you missed me, Wesley. Why do you always get every single prediction video you do wrong? Well, I'm here to tell you, this one, five for five. I'm confident that it's gonna go five for five on this one, and uh, I'm just gonna really rebound my prediction video status. All right, so to close things out, good luck to all of the runners that are running Ohio's Backyard Ultra this year. It should be a really special event at the McChesney Ridge Athletic Club. We know everyone's gonna do super awesome, and we cannot wait to hear the stories that come out of this year's event. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys next time.